Okay, hi there. So uh, now we look, we will look at this intermediate switch. How two way with intermediate switch works. Um, so before you see this video, uh, you need to go to my first and second video about one way switch and two way switch to understand on how one way switch and two way switch works. So basically this uh, video is about focus to intermediate switch whereby uh, I will uh, maintain this value MCV and incoming voltage value. So, so for intermediate switch we will have additional two-way switch okay uh, to use an intermediate switch we need to have a pair of two-way switches okay. two-way on the left and another one at the end here is another two-way switch and intermediate switch in the middle like this okay this is two-way switch two-way switch and an intermediate switch in the middle so um, about two-way switch the function of two-way switch is more or less the same like the previous video about two-way switch I just add on an intermediate switch in the middle here between these two-way switch alright so before I go to the simulation I need to explain about this intermediate switch. Uh, intermediate switch, we will have four terminal: one, two, three, four. L1, L2, L3, L4. This is incoming pair input, and this is the outgoing pair output. All right. So uh, for this intermediate switch, uh, since there is no, uh, we did not have this uh, switches for intermediate switch, so I do some modification. We will have two switch parallel double pole switch, one here and another one is there. So for switching letter, I will press this one like this and another one one time means uh, when i press two way switch uh, this thing will happen once uh, at a time uh, when we press the one way switch at the uh, intermediate switch sorry by clicking an intermediate switch we will press this this one will off this one will on like that okay you can see that uh, L1 for this one, for this uh, first condition, L1 will be connected to L2, L3 will be connected to L4. The second condition will be L1 connected to L4, L3 connected to L2. It will be cross. Okay, crossing L1 to L4, L3 to L2, and second one L1 to L2, and L3 to L4. So that is what happened inside an intermediate switch. Alright, so uh, for this case, usually we will find, uh, we will use intermediate switch usually and at this. Um, what we call uh, a long corridor. Uh, uh, the at the end of the corridor, we will have one uh, two-way switch, a unit of two-way switch, and the middle of the corridor we will um, fix one intermediate switch, and at the other end of the corridor we can put another, the second two-way switch. So I will uh, run the simulation. Okay, um, alright, so we, we will test this 
two-way switch first. Okay, as usual, two-way switch. We will just clicking this switch. Okay. Now you can see that the light is turning on because of this position spread here. And to turn it off, I just need to press one two-way switch. Okay, it will be the, there's a cut off there. And then to turn it on again, I need to press this second switch of two-way switch. Okay, on, off, and on again and off again. Yeah, so that is the function of two-way switch. Now uh, we will move to the intermediate switch. Remember just now uh, to operate this intermediate switch, there will be a cross straight and cross. So now what happen? It is it is straight. It is straight. Okay, L1 to L2, L3 to L4. So to turn on this light, okay, by not uh, pressing the two-way switch at the both end here. I will press the intermediate switch. So what will happen is, uh, if it is straight, I will change it to cross now. Press this. It is crossing. L1 to L4. L3 to L2. Alright. So, I need to turn this thing off. Press this SW1 off. Okay, so to turn it off, uh, sorry, to turn it on using in an intermediate switch, I need to make it straight rather than cross. Okay, so I press the straight button. Okay, this one will open. Okay, so it will straight, it will on, and then I can press it here, up. Okay. Uh, from straight, I make it cross, and then I will press it here. Off, I turn it on by make it straight, and then turn it off again. So this is what happened, uh, and this then this is um, basically shows how an intermediate switch works in between two units of two-way switch okay so this is the photo the picture shows the two-way switch and an intermediate switch so uh, in order to make the right connection for an intermediate switch you need to know which one is the um, output from the two-way first switch to the input of the first intermediate switch and the output of the intermediate switch to the second um, two-way switch uh, all right so i hope this video will help you to understand this uh, intermediate switch and two-way switch for an electrical installation thank you bye bye